What is up guys, it is Hitman Ham here, and I have very, very exciting news. Obviously you cannot see right now that it is not Skyrim. And um, don't worry, Skyrim will be coming back later. I just wanted to switch it up a little bit. And as you can hear that fancy ass trumpet solo in the background right now. It is the Godfather theme song, and we all love the Godfather, and if you do not love the Godfather, one, you must have never watched The Godfather, or two, you're gonna love The Godfather anyways, because who, I, I don't know. I don't know anybody who really does not like The Godfather. It is pretty much the most badass movie ever, and like, it's a freaking about mafia, and mafia people are considered one of the most badass people in my books ever. I mean, you fucking smoke a cigar and then you go out and you blow some people away. You come back home and you drink a nice glass of wine. You wake up and you do it all over again. First person I ever and called God. My God, you're Italian too. It's not even. Let's not even go I into that though, because Italian people are just hardcore I was just anyways. A soldier for the family back then. But let's listen to this nice video God. going right now. War. Assassins even gunned down Vito. Son you just dropped your melons, Mr. Don Colleone. That was one of the most saddest the parts price. in the movie. As my well as that one right there, because Sonny was my most reins. favorite person in he The Godfather. War against the I mean, he just went for the bitches, they and he, like, had no and my boss, Aldo no self-control. He would just go around blowing everything up, pretty Michael's much, and right killing anybody now. that kind of, like, double-crossed him, or who just looked damn funny. These days, opportunity Good is mafia everywhere. traits, I must say. But so are new families, fighting for their share. It took a man like Hyman Roth to get everyone to the table. Oh, look at this guy. We're gonna divide up Cuba, get richer than we ever could back in the States. Smart this decision. Good for the Smart family. decision. And for me. And look at this, the guy on the left is supposed to be Michael My Colleone, and who's ever Stop. watched the Godfather movies, he does not look like Michael Colleone whatsoever. Everybody else looks pretty good, except him. I'm not too sure why. But yeah, this is your guy you play as. His name is Dominic. And, uh... You get to customize how Dominic looks. And this is where the very exciting news, at least I think, is going to be exciting. We've traveled with a man that we know as Mr. Bonquiqui. And Bonquiqui, I must say, has a large skill trait that kind of just covers everything, I think. You started out as an MMA fighter. You know, he won the lightweight title belt in a couple of my videos. And that was pretty badass. And then with that prize money, he decided to go on a nice vacation in the world of Skyrim to live out his destiny and uh, to become one with his culture that we know him as a Zimbabwe warrior. And all he wears is a loincloth over there and some potato sacks on his feet. And that's pretty badass, okay? Well, Bon Kwikwi is hunting out there with bows and axes and shit, and he's having a fun time, but I think I want to actually take him over to the Mafia times as well. Because first off, why not? Bon Quiqui is just a hard ass wherever he goes. And uh, I kind of wanted to play a different type of game. So the Godfather is going to be that game. And also my gamer tag is Hitman Ham. And that kind of goes with Mafia times, you know, Hitman. But yeah, so this is him. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Because I know he's going to have an Italian accent because he's a mobster and everything. And uh... This guy's name is actually Dominic, like I said as well, and the game called him Dominic. So he is not going to be literally called Bon Quiqui, but in our books, and when I actually start talking about him and everything, he's just going to be straight up Bon Quiqui. And see, we can make him whatever we want. We can make him Mr. Fat-Ass Bon Quiqui. You know, he, he loves his spaghetti, he loves his meatballs, his frettuccine and all that, so that's why he's a little fat. We could always play that role. We could also make a straight up jacked. Bon Quiqui, that you would not want to fuck with this guy in a back alley, or even like in a freaking Walmart parking lot, or anywhere, you would not want to mess with him. Or we can keep him of what he's always kind of been, the scrawny, very skinny Bon Quiqui. And, uh, I think we're going to keep him Mr. Skinny Bon Quiqui. You know, his appearance kind of throws off the competition, I think. He's like, oh, that's just a really skinny dude. We're not going to have to really deal with him. And uh, before you know it, he's just freaking taking you down. Keep that eye shape. I'm not really sure if I want to deal with any of this. Look at this shit. Let's make the most demented Bon Quiqui ever. Look at this. We're going to make him cross-eyed with 
Some really squinty eyes. No. <laughs> and now I don't even know if I can actually change it to what he actually looks like, so I think I'm just going to have to randomize it. Look at some of these randomizing people. This guy. Okay, I'm not sure what you were thinking about with your your options of hairstyle. I mean, I'm digging your hair, but you have blonde hair and a freaking black beard. This guy. This guy looks like he came out of a freaking, I don't pff, a drug den. Dude, you freaking have like a white mop on your head. You can obviously tell it's a toupee. You look horrible. This guy is just kind of creepy. We're not even going to mess with him. Some more, uh, pedophiles. Some more... Oh my god, did you see that one guy's ears? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, see, I, I'm trying to stop, but it's just keep entertaining me. But we'll keep that for buying... Uh, I'm trying to get a good, like, template for Bon Quick, we said. This guy has, like, a stone jaw. Yeah, let's keep this one. <laughs> His hair shaved. I want it black, but... Oh, I was going to say you can't really see what his hair color is, but it's his chest hair. We don't need any facial hair, I don't think. Well, this guy looks like a freaking pissed off. You would not want to mess with him. Like, look at this dude. <laughs> oh gosh, Bon Quikri looks demented. eye shape. There we go. His eyes were too close to his nose, I think. We'll keep that right there. I need a dark eye color for him. That'd be good. It's his ears, too. Can I change his ears? Yes. Let's bring his ears in a little bit. They were kind of too far out, I think. Head size, I'm not gonna even deal with any of that. His nose, I think, is looking pretty fine. His body, we need to make him really skinny again. Okay. And then also, you can create what he is wearing. And see, they got everything in here that you would really kinda want. The nice. Oh, look at this. We can make Von Quiqui the next top chef. The Iron Chef, or whatever those shows are. We can make this straight up white. And watch this. Before you know it, Bon Quiqui is in the back. And look at this shit. He's freaking cooking up some delicious chickens and a nice serving of whoop ass. And like, would you tell this man no? Like, he comes up to you, okay? He's like, hey, would you like some chicken on a fucking platter? And people are going to be like, I don't even know who you are. Do you want some chicken in the platter? And they're going to be like shaking their head yes. And you're gonna be, he's going to be like this. No, you don't. You can't handle the whoop ass platter. Nobody can handle the whoop ass platter except Bon Quee Quee. <laughs> Oh yes. <laughs> but yes, they had the mafia jackets on and all that. But Bon Quee Quee is not like a leader yet. He's gonna be like the new guy. So we actually have to make him at least for now look like he's he's starting out fresh. And I had this idea in the back of my head. That we are going to make him actually wear the Zimbabwe colors, which are green, red, and white, and yellow. A long sleeve or short sleeve? I'm going to say short sleeve so he doesn't get blood all over him when he's kicking everybody's ass. But yeah, I kind of want to make it look like the Zimbabwe flag, so he's going to look awesome as fuck, I think. Loose pants, tight pants, bell bottoms. Obviously going with the bell bottoms. We can make him jean style or corduroy or linen. I think we're just going to keep with Lennon. Some nice dark red. Actually, I'm digging the, the light red. We'll have a belt on and we'll make that yellow. Looking damn fine, I must say. Shoes, we're going to keep them with the casual. Some nice sneakers, I think. Some nice... Some nice white sneakers. I think is where it's at right now. His hand accessories, we can put them with gloves on. 